we're just like we're like let's let the real clowns out okay <laughs> y'all welcome to our channel yes or if you're new welcome we i'm daisha i am kim and together we are kim and daisha yes. this is our youtube channel we specialize in what fashion lifestyle. beauty lifestyle we give y'all vlogs Just we give y'all lookbooks we give y'all what y'all looking for what y'all Yes. Okay, we give the people what, what they, they want. <laughs> but this video is basically just a QA since mm -hmm. our first video. We kind of just showed you guys our personality. Just we jumped jump right up in it. We went, we went, we went to the gut Okay, like, we was okay. like, we're not gonna do this little talking video. But now we want to sit down and introduce ourselves to y'all. Do a little QA. So we, we put together some questions that yes. we feel you guys could. It would be useful on our channel for you guys to kind of understand right. what we're about and who we are, where we're from, you know, stuff like that. Doing. Yes, Basically. so we are cousins. <laughs> our dads are second cousins, and we kind of run like third or fourth, but we grew up <laughs> together in San Diego. Yes, California, oh, yeah. you know, West Coast. What? So we yes. are now on the East, East Coast. Coast. West Coast Which, girls went East Coast. Yeah, we, we will explain in one of our questions, but Why? basically this is, we're just here, we're living life. Yeah. We're black college Beautiful graduates, queen, you know, just out here life. just trying to get it together. Yeah, so yeah. we've been acting a fool for 25 years together and we was like, let's put this on camera. Girl. Okay, let's like, let's just do it. Clearly, so we just that leads us to them. our first question, like, yes. what, like what made us start our YouTube channel? So, basically what she said yes. <laughs> our chemistry our vibe yeah. we're like more than just cousins we're like sisters no but like seriously i wanted to do one in high school but then yeah. i was like now i'm away yeah. i'm gonna just keep putting it off but then i started talking to kim like we just need to do it just do it we just need to start a youtube channel and see where it goes love, yes. fashion all kinds of things right so, and it's natural vibes between us i mean yeah. when you know somebody since birth okay. grew up in the same city <laughs> moved to east have Coast. the same ab ambition yes and drive yeah. yeah. ambition ambition Wale. <laughs> okay, okay so once That's we figured that out it. we was like let's just get this together let's so second question why did we leave california well tell me why you left so i left for school <laughs> <laughs> i left to attend the illustrious Oh, here she North go. Carolina mm -hmm. Agricultural and Technical State University. Okay, Aggie Pride. Period. Period. Don't overdo it. Okay, so why did you leave? <laughs> so I played basketball in college and I got a scholarship to a school in Seattle. So naturally I moved out of California and then I got a transfer schools to Miami. I moved everywhere. Okay, and literally. she been Yeah, I've time. been everywhere. <laughs> I go as the wind goes. So okay. I just left Cali because of opportunities that presented itself and Absolutely. I never felt the need to go back. So. Absolutely. I think leaving mm. was the best choice. Of yeah, my life. it was. I just feel like I've grown so much. much. I never would have thought that I'd be where I am right now. Exactly. If I wouldn't have left. Like that was the best decision. So right. to anybody who's stuck in their hometown you should leave. leave. Yes. <laughs> Grow out of your comfort zone because yes. you never know the type of person you're capable of being until you leave your comfort zone. And that's what we have to do. Yeah. It was not easy. It, it wasn't. It we're, was not saying, easy. we're not saying picking up is easy. easy but, but we're it's saying worth it. you should do it because it was yes. it's the best thing ever. Kim has gotten her bachelor's and her master's. I've got my bachelor's thinking about getting my master's. So and we're just, just out here just trying to do the do vibes. it up have fun doing what we love and that's really why we love yeah, right and, and we don't plan on going back no i'll go back to visit i got family and friends there hey y'all yes. my but... family's still out there i love them dearly but i'm not yeah. going to live it's no. just too expensive but anybody trying to go to california we're not trying to tell y'all no don't go we'll like, out the nicest spots to go to the okay. best restaurant we'll go try it for yourself but we're just saying it wasn't we, it's too expensive all right, I'm just not. I'm just not trying to. My care. opportunity was elsewhere. We'll go into what school did you attend since we already kind of answered that. <laughs> I mean, but other than that, the HBCU experience because I went to A&T and you went to. So I got my master's at Savannah State. So I did go to HBCU for graduate school. Um, but I did go to a PWI and I went to a very diverse school and I went to HBCU. So I kind of had all three experiences yes. within college. Yes. Um, 
but hey, that's I mean, pretty much the same. Like, they're not PWIs for me. It was like community college, but it's like in California, so it's very diverse. Diverse, yeah. And then um, I went to AT, and that was literally the best experience Ooh. ever. We had two different experiences because I went undergrad, she went for grad. Yeah. So it was like I was very involved in like the parties and the G Ho and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I it was just totally went different. to get my master's. To real my focus. career. Okay. I was real focused. No party. I yeah. went to homecoming. Like just, and I really only because I went to homecoming because I interned in the, during that time. That's yeah. how focused I was. I wasn't going unless I had a purpose to go. Yeah. So but other than that, yeah. I really feel like you was real chill. You I, yeah. was focused on your grades. I was very kind of fast. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I was still kind of the same, you know, because if you don't focus, you ain't gonna graduate. So it's like there's no point to really be all involved in everything right. if you're not gonna graduate. Time. So please pay attention to your grades. Don't we go and party and do all that kind of stuff. Like okay. you lost your mind. But it was literally the best experience ever. Yeah. I love A and T. I can pride all day. I'll say it the, every single day. She, she's too I much. I pride. Okay, let's move, move to um best best childhood memory? memory. Oh, we got to win it. Where do we start? When I say we grew up together, we, we grew up did together. everything. Me, Kim, and my older sister, sister Darielle. Darielle. That was like, we were the Disney child. Like, we tried to reenact movies. We, we got skates for Christmas. Yeah, like. we tried to do roll bounce. We, we tried really to build we an airplane in the garage. And we left her in the attic. I just don't <laughs> understand how we're building a clubhouse turned into them sitting down watching TV while I burn up. Me and my sister said, let's go take a yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kim's still in the attic. We don't even know how, how did you even get up there? Y'all help me get up there. What do you mean how? Y'all help me. We put her in the attic like, and, and then left. Me. She like, wanted water, all kinds of stuff. You know the attic is really uh, hot. So I we had just no left her there. up there. I mean, we, we have a memory. It's like it's so many. many. It's I too mean. many. I guess the best for me would be Dario dragged me to Skate World with y'all every Friday. Skate World days. We say skate, skate World, world days. Skate World for those who are, it's not in California. Yes. It's a skate ring really? in California and they would go every Friday. Friday. Faithfully. We would have basketball practice because <laughs> we could all play basketball together and then go to Skate World after. Yes. Like, we did not miss a beat. Yes. So. That's why we got skates for Christmas one, you know, one year. One year. And we didn't, we didn't do the blades. We did the, the four old school, the old school, school skates. skates. I don't have was... any balance to be doing no four <laughs> in a row, so I had to do two and two, but. <laughs> And that was probably the best time because after like 11 o'clock, they let you go in the middle. Yeah, you can take you your skates dance. off and you get to mm -hmm. dance. And I used to battle people, okay? Yes. I was that person. She I was. was. Like, Every friend had a role. We had the one friend who used to race to get us the free tickets yep. the next time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She was the dancer. <laughs> I was more like the bodyguard type okay. of deal. Like, who trying to try us? And then my other friends were somewhere social butterfly. Yeah. Everybody had a role. We, we had a role. Real. We had so, a role. And even that, the parents. That, yes. Who's picking us up? Pick us up on who's time. Us off and meet me <laughs> We're at the donut shop. We're done at 12. So, yes, so come get us. That was our childhood. That, that was the best. That was my best childhood memory. What's yeah. yours? Mine was. There's so many, so many. I would say when we used to travel, we used to drive from yes. California to Georgia, three days. Oh my gosh. Driving, because our parents yes. are from Georgia, so we used to always to drive to Georgia three days. We used to have to, like a little TV in the car, because you know we back then. We had coolers, coolers. We had Kool-Aid and Sunny Delight. That was Sunny it. Delight was always in that Kool-Aid, that I mean, cooler. We used to be powered up, like we really doing a three day road trip. We had chips, we had everything you need to make a sandwich. We was, we was we really playing. We had the mini TV with the VCR so Look, we could be entertained. We was in there and we was traveling and, and that was the best time. Ever. Especially when we stopped and we went into the hotel. That yes. was so big for us. We only went in the hotel in Texas because you know Texas is a whole two days in itself. Okay. But yeah. when we did, I was like, oh, I was like, this day. is so great to get out now of this car. car. Because we're it. not the only ones in the car. No. Like we have siblings. I have yeah. two older brothers. I have yeah. an older sister, a younger brother, a younger sister. So it's it's four of us. Yeah. And we was really like we was in there and we, we was, was having a good time. We were so yeah. best childhood memory. That that it was that a lot, was so but long. that was us. Um. So what is our YouTube channel geared around? We already answered that. that. <laughs> 
we answered that we're doing fashion lifestyle and beauty and we're also just gonna be um light tips and just heavy topics that not a lot of people yeah. speak on that we feel like we could bring light to but still mm -hmm. educate others yeah um so if y'all like these kind of like talking videos yeah. and stuff like that definitely comment down below let us know we'll give y'all more videos right more advice dating <laughs> health everything everything anyways next um, something most people don't know about you. Something most people don't know about me. Um, what is what the hell? Okay, I love to sing, but I can't. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know I'm about me. I'm pretty sure they've seen that. If y'all want to see that, look at our first video. I In the vlog, she tries to sing. I think I'm going to be Houston um, reincarnated. I can't hit but that. But you actually don't sound like let me much. go once again. Is that Whitney? I don't wanna hurt anymore. Isn't that? It's Whitney. But okay. yeah, I can't sing. Oh, what's something else you don't know about me? Um, I play basketball in college, but most people who watch this video know that. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially family and friends, but I feel like not everybody knows yeah. that. Let's see. Something else. I don't know. I've probably been to about 30 states. That's good. Um, probably lived in about five or six of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I definitely go as the wind go. I'm not somebody who's concreted to the ground. So, she, I don't know if it was interesting she, that. She but, uh, was in Michigan for a minute. Yeah, she's still I lived been in everywhere. Miami, I lived in Georgia, I lived in Seattle, I lived in California. She's been everywhere. What about you? Okay, so Her something. teeth are huge. Okay, so speaking <laughs> of teeth, something most people don't know about me, if you're not my friends, my family, or people I worked with, I have braces. That's how I got these. And Kim used to talk about me and tease me before, like saying my teeth was a jigsaw puzzle no. and all kinds of okay. things. Okay, I am a jokester. That's maybe something nobody knows. She's not a jokester. She's I... my feelings, and I was crying every single day. That's she also true. used to say I was dressing like very sketchy and all kinds of stuff way back in the day. Y'all, she used to wear a plaid and shorts. <laughs> below the knee with oversized she looked like a mom like why are you eight years old looking like a soccer mom where are you going where are the kids at that you should and they got a nerd to want to follow us around I'm like look i was not there. playing i was like mom they're not trying to take me y'all y'all still get in trouble she i didn't care like, how i was looking i was putting on my flat pants and going and then she had them. big feet like she grew into her feet now like she grew she she was not this tall when she was little like i was way taller than her so her feet was like, woo. And I'm like, why is her shorts you are so rude. touching the shoes? This is what I go through, y'all. This is what I go through. Y'all, when she glowed up, she was like, I'm not playing with y'all no more. She was like, I gotta, I'm gonna put a throwback up in here. Oh if I my can God. Buy one, if so I can our buy throwback one. picture from Six Flags, yeah. we gotta add that. Oh, in. I used to be a tomboy too. I used to be like, Cause Kim really, down. she had a whole dick in outfit on. I was and posing like this. Hand on hip. <laughs> Looking just like that. <laughs> no, okay. So I guess, okay, so something one people, whatever. Something people don't know about mm -hmm. me is, um, I had no choice but to go natural, <laughs> to be honest. I had, me too. I had, um, I had knots in my hair. Oh yeah, I remember that. You called me crying. I was, I was screaming, I was crying. So basically, long story short, mm -hmm. I used to have perms, um, high school. We moved to Florida and I had a sew-in. I took my sew-in out and I did a comb it. And y'all know y'all supposed yeah, to yeah, detangle. If there's one thing you're supposed to do, it's supposed to comb that mess out because it's been in there for a minute. You gotta get the dirt out, all that. So I was like, mm, I'm just gonna go wash it. Washed it, two knots. Literally, all my hair in two knots. I was thinking about going natural because Darielle was already natural. Yeah. So I was like, oh, let me let me hop on board. So I had no choice. I We went to a beauty salon. She was like, we can't get this out. We're gonna have to cut it. So I cut my hair. It was literally like, Ooh. like I said, uh, Ooh. no. <laughs> but yeah, look at it, it now. So... Hey, well, my hair's in brown. I don't know. Why. I know. I'm about Kim, to do that. Kim's hair is really it's longer than mine, it's, and it's, it's a mess. lovely. We're gonna give y'all like a natural hair video just to show y'all our oh, journey. Yeah. Cause I think I went natural next accident just cause I was in college and I knew no one there that could perm my hair, so mm -hmm. I just do my hair in braids and. So wins, but uh, uh, it worked out. It going natural is probably the best thing I've ever done too. I, it's a lot of work. The first two years, I was like, nah. Yeah, <laughs> I was putting it in twists, braids, anything. I was like, I need to get it out of this little short phase before I start wearing it out. 
But now I'm just like, let me do a twist out real quick. Right, let me go ahead and throw this. I don't do no wash and goes. Y'all not gonna get a wash and go from me on this channel. I be looking okay? like, like real Samuel Jackson. I can't do it. Okay, I <laughs> get the house <laughs> looking like it's all droopy. I'm like, ooh, I, I look get to real work. good. Like, Lord, where my hair go? Why my hair so tight? Well, what is going on? So, yeah, we, I don't know. She might do a washing. You like washing us? If I'm going to the store and back, <laughs> sure. But if I'm out all day, nah. No, I mean, no, 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 no. But we can do some hair videos if that's we got what you guys are interested below. in. Let us know. Yeah. Comment down below. We can do some videos. We're doing. Um, three words to describe your style. Three words to describe my style. Style, I would definitely say comfy. I yeah. if I'm not comfortable, I'm not rocking it. I'm telling yes. you that right now. She she won't do it. I'm, what like no. heels anywhere? It's not. Fun. I have no problem walking barefoot in public. Like some people be like, uh, uh that's you're gonna be like a meme. <laughs> meme me up then. Meme me up because these shoes are coming off. Oh my goodness. Um, yes. No. She can't walk in heels for anything. No. Let's not speak about your little Vegas. We definitely. Yeah. Let's not bring Vegas into the picture. That we was... can do a Vegas video if y'all want one. No. Because we need a recap. That's a throwback. That was 24. 24. 24. Like, that wasn't no better. Oh. <laughs> we've been together for your birthday for a minute. Yeah, we've been three years now. Yeah. Well, um, we well, we got distracted. I know. <laughs> Comfy, I would say um, I have more of a sporty chic type of style. Like, um, I rock sneakers. I think I read that. I said that. three words. Okay, sorry. Comfy, sporty, and chic. Is okay. that fine? Thank you, godly. She's she going like into a real... whole paragraph. I'm I mean, like, she acting like a teacher. I said three words. Well, I'm sorry, I want some extra credit. Can I not explain my well, we don't want that. Okay. What's your Anyways, words? three words for me. Um, Classy. Mm, that's a cute word. Um, chic. That's cute too. And you mean period next question is one thing you want our viewers to gain from watching our channel one thing i really want some someone to gain our viewers to gain is just self-love and self-worth like mm -hmm. i spent years just focusing on being the woman god intended me to be and it took a lot of growth it took a lot of shedding of old things that happened but yeah. the feeling that you just get when you learn to love yourself is just like it's unreal it is it's unreal it's, really it's unreal. like things that used to just irk you don't even phase there's things that will literally shut down my day like i can't even process my thoughts that now i'm just like okay i know let me move on like he this don't even bother me. You know me. what things that like i'll be like i'm about to snap on this person and just go in on them now i'm like you know what do you Yes. Do you. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, that is really good and that's very important. Yeah. Self-love and self-worth. Because once you learn to put yes. yourself first, yes. it's so easy to You're place people. Be honest. Right. Yeah. And you can just place people in your life in the right position. So much we just place people anywhere in our lives and allow mm -hmm. them to do what they want. But you become the CEO of your life and you be like, no, you're gonna be in the accounting department. Okay. <laughs> Please put them in the um mail room. Yeah. You you the receptionist. Since you wanna be in my life so bad. <laughs> So you could put people in the right position in your life and not yes. feel no way about it. So yes. that's what I want y'all to get. What yes. about you? Oh, well, I don't know. That was good. That was good. That's and that right. was deep. <laughs> that was good and deep. What if mine's not good enough? Okay, no, but like, I really want y'all to just vibe with us. This yeah. is, We really just want to give off nothing but vibe. positive vibes. Yeah. Oh, I'm really into that. Very mindful. I really do think about everything and I just take a break. Oh my gosh, say no when you need to say no. I'm still learning. Yes. I'm still, I'm, I've been a yes woman since uh, the day I came out, I yes. guess. Because I'm always like, sure, yes, uh-huh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. But in college when I was like, no, nah, I'm staying in. I was like, this is the best ever. Girl, what? I'm not going. I'm staying home. I'll see I don't want to go. Like, you don't even have to give them an excuse. Oh, my mama said. No, just, no. <laughs> just, just be like, nah, I just don't feel like going and stay home mm -hmm. and just be like, just do what is for you and be yeah. happy. I'm the happiness. Come here and be happy. Your happy place. This is your happy place. All right. <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, this is the last
last question. What is one thing you are not bringing into 2020? Not into 2020. That's a good question. One thing I'm not bringing into 2020 is um, I'm not bringing in anything that doesn't serve me. There you go. And um, what I mean by that is like, yeah, I love to serve the guy. Anything that doesn't serve me, that's what I'm bringing to you. What about you? What I'm not bringing into 2020 is, like I said, no negative vibes. Keep all the negative vibes away from me. All right. And anything like she said that doesn't serve me, you need you stay in 2019. So we stay happy over here. Boop, boop. So, since our battery is dying. <laughs> no, um, thank you guys for tuning in to our channel. We love y'all. Yes, we, we see everyone's comments, even though it's kind of like our friends right now. We see y'all. We see y'all reposting it. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Just keep tuning in because we have more content to come. More, yeah. more videos, more vibes to create with more our little family, our friends, our little community here. So we love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on. And if you like these videos, please comment down below. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you need, whatever. We'll see y'all next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>